<laughs> Have you ever been here on the Sonic Edison Festival before? No, my first time at the festival. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the concept of mixture, the science and the artist, uh, the art, about how it's being um, connected all together? What is the main like um, point? Uh, we no, I think it's. I think it's. I mean, my my background is very interdisciplinary um, from sociology and architecture and art and science and technology I and mean, I've been sort of all over so um, I, I think you know you, I, if I'm at an architecture conference I'm always wanting to talk to people from other differences people in the computer science department I'm always wanting to talk to this as well and I think it's the events where you have a kind of cross fertilization of, 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 of communities and, of, of ideas of practices and methodologies um, that can borrow from one another and uh, interpret one another, misunderstand one another uh, in, in interesting ways uh, is always much more fun and, and usually get more, much more out of it. So I think you know, it was great. Yeah. Speaking about your uh, presentation, uh, yeah. when did you start your research and what like the main um, message or idea would you like to show people in your research? So the, the talk today was largely from the, earth, the, the chapter, the Earth Layer, from the stack on Software and Sovereignty book, which comes out this uh, October uh, from, from MIT, MIT Press. Um, and uh, I, I suppose, you know, I don't know if there's a, a, ever a main message of this as well, but um, it, you know, if we're looking at it from the perspective of the way in which computer scientists would think about issues of relationship computation and ecology, it's always about uh, developing a kind of instrumental or sensing mechanism by which we can uh, measure and govern that ecology in some sort of way that allow for a sort of mastery of it. And if we look at computers from the perspective of, of the ecologists, this vast computational infrastructure that we're producing is understood as itself a kind of massively distributed machine with this enormous energy and mineral uh, and carbon appetite. Um, and in fact, the way we want to see it is, is both at the same time. And in fact, these two are not only simultaneous, they're really dependent upon each other. And it's this recursive process by which we're creating this accidental megastructure, as I call it, the, the stack, which is used to, to identify and measure the ecology, which is itself uh, uh, the, the, you know, one of the most uh, um, uh, significant ecological energy carbon events that it, that it itself is modeling. Um, you know, we, we've created over the last 50 years or so this huge, uh, there's this huge system of satellites and sensors and um, uh, air temperature models, oceanic sort of models. And this, um, the technological complexity is in, in many ways one of the things that's brought us to this the, the okay. precarity in which we find ourselves at, the, at this moment. At the same time, it's why we know that. The reason we know about climate change, the reason we can measure it at the degree we can, the reason we can actually model the anthropocene with the degree of granularity of, is because we have produced this machine that has in fact allowed us to set up campus, right? And so it's this kind of Ouroboros snake eating its own tail uh, kind of uh, sort of condition in which we sort of produce that is the paradox of, 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 this, of, the, this, um, of the earth layer of the stack. Um, and the way in which I, I, in the book, I deal with each of these layers is that they're, they're both sort of a set of technologies that we've produced in order to hopefully have particular kinds of outcomes. But ultimately, like any technology, its real effects may be defined more by its accidents, the kinds of unintentional, the kinds of unintentional outcomes that, that it brings with it, um, which can be positive or negative. Um, those unintended outcomes can in fact be better than what we intended at, at, at this point. And the most, I think, sort of the, the outcome that I wanted to show you on is exactly this, recur this recursivity that exists in the circular side. So, I mean, that's yeah. really it.